Russ Faria is talking for the first time about the arrest of a detective who was involved in his wrongful conviction. Faria spoke only to Fox Files investigator Chris Hayes, reacting to news that a former accusing officer is now in trouble. Hopefully the truth to be revealed in all of these people's wrongdoings. Russ Faria spent three and a half years in prison for a murder he did not commit. This isn't over yet. It's been a long time. It's been 11 years now. December 27th, 2011, Russ arrived home to find his wife, Betsy Faria, stabbed to death on their living room floor. Pam Hupp is now charged with Betsy's murder, but only after a new prosecutor and new sheriff took over in Lincoln County. Both also swore to hold previous law enforcement accountable. A decade ago, investigators would only look at Russ Faria. They knew I was innocent. They knew because they saw the evidence. Detective Mike Merkel, who no longer works for the Lincoln County Sheriff's Office, was one of the first to interview Russ. And he was lying to me about, you know, being my pastor's friend and trying to find out who did this and whatnot. When all along he was trying to put a frame around me. Only Fox 2 was in the courtroom for the now infamous moment in 2013 when Detective Mike Merkel claimed a crime scene camera was broken and pictures did not develop. Faria's attorney, Joel Schwartz, ended up obtaining those mysterious photos. The detective who testified this committed perjury and is in fact a liar because they all did develop and they, none of them showed what he testified to. Current Lincoln County Sheriff's investigator Randy Lambert has been looking into the past reported corruption that led to Russ's wrongful conviction. In the process, court records say Mike Merkel threatened Lambert with the help of his wife, Becky, who also used to work for the Sheriff's Office, and Mike's brother, Kevin, who works for the DEA. A probable cause statement reads, cellular records plainly show Kevin, Mike, and Becky Merkel were acting in concert and collusion to photograph, video record, and threaten and the investigating officer. They're strong arming somebody, and I think it's because they're scared that the investigation is going to uncover all of their dirty deeds. From a legal standpoint, we'd call it consciousness of guilt that if you're attempting to interfere with an investigation where you had the opportunity to cooperate or not cooperate. New Lincoln County Prosecutor Mike Wood, whose office has charged all three Merkels with felony stalking and harassment, agreed with Russ's assessment. Russ says he's thankful law enforcement is looking at itself. Not all cops are bad. I ran into a whole group of bad ones, but there's good ones out there that want to do the right thing and they're embarrassed by the bad ones. And you know, this is a good testament to that. None of the Merkels have responded to my request for comment. Since our last report, Mike Merkel was arrested and booked on a fugitive warrant December 27th and released without bond. He has a court date in March. His wife is set for her first appearance next month, and his brother, who lives in Virginia, is yet to be scheduled. For the Fox Files, I'm Chris Hayes.